Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce weak masculine nouns. You'll recall from an earlier presentation that the masculine definite article changes from der to den as it moves from the nominative to the accusative. Certain masculine nouns also change as they move from the nominative to the accusative. These are called weak masculine nouns. A characteristic of a weak masculine noun is the n or en ending that the noun adds in every case except the nominative. In the sentence you see on the screen, das ist der Junge, that is the boy, the noun der Junge is in the nominative case since the third person singular verb ist shows no action. It simply reports a condition or state of being. Since the noun is in the nominative, no ending is added. However, in this sentence, ich sehe den Jungen, I see the boy, the nominative personal pronoun ich is the subject of the sentence and den Jungen is its direct object in the accusative case. That is to say, the boy receives the action of being seen by the subject of the sentence. You will note that the masculine definite article den indicates the accusative case. It is also important to note that the noun adds an n ending as well. So why is this important? Sometimes if we don't pay close attention to clues that German sentences provide us, we may misinterpret what we are reading. For example, in the sentence you see at the top of the screen, the definite article den indicates a masculine singular noun in the accusative case. Here the n ending indicates a weak masculine noun. In the sentence below this, however, the definite article D indicates a plural noun in the accusative case. The N ending here indicates a plural noun. Ich sehe die Jungen. I see the boys. There's quite a few weak masculine nouns and it is not possible to memorize them all. And even if you forgot to add an N or EN ending to one of these nouns, it will not prevent you from being understood. That being said, there are some basic rules to help you. First, some nouns indicating male beings, such as der Nachbar, the neighbor, and der Kunde, the customer, may be weak masculine nouns. Second, masculine nouns indicating nationality or religious affiliation, such as der Russe, the Russian, and der Protestant, the Protestant, may be weak masculine nouns. Finally, masculine nouns with certain Latin and Greek endings may be weak masculine nouns. These endings include ANT, ARCH, AST, EGE, ENT, IST, OGE, OM, OPH, and OT. According to this rule, the nouns der Polizist, police officer, and der Student, the student, are weak masculine nouns. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.